We would take two to three laps around the court. This first drill is called a high knee tuck in upright position. You're going to dorsiflex your foot all the way to the cone. Go. Stay upright position, dorsiflex your foot, pull your knees up to your chest. Jog it out. Okay. You would do, it's called an A skip. It's toe up, heel up, knee up. It's an A skip. You're stepping over the opposite foot like it's a, like it's a hurdle. All right, go. Good arm action, drive the elbows back. Good. Facing this direction is a karaoke. All right, you're going to keep your action tight, hands in close to your body. Go. Go. Different things. You're going to do a walk in. Okay, next exercise is a walk in windmill. I want complete rotation, toes dorsiflexed. You're going to do this halfway, then you're going to do a walk in lunge halfway. Good rotation, stay in low, don't come up, stay low. Now go right into a walk in lunge. Toe up, heel up, knee up, cycle through. We always step over the opposite knee when we, when we do a lunge movement. And dorsiflex the foot, stay upright. Next exercise is a single leg squat. We'll have Danielle face this direction. Give me your right leg. I want to go three reps, hand straight out, sit down, just like that. Weight back, switch legs, sit into it, slow control. Okay. Next exercise she's going to do is an exaggerated back pedal. On an exaggerated back pedal, heel to butt, reach back. Go. and drive the elbow straight back to match your legs. Now I want to do what is called a hurdle seat change. You're going to be in a seated position on the floor, right leg out. You're going to be in a stretch position to touch your toes. The leg that's out in front of your body, you're going to lay back, roll that direction, switch the other leg out. Switch it. Right into a stretch position, hurdle stretch position. Switch it. Switch it, switch it, all right, good, up, she'll jog down to the cone and sprint back, Boop. now we want to do a bound, this time we're going to change the direction, this time you're going to bound down, jog back, Boop. good bound, Good. So just like, like a leap. Sprint back. Good, good, good. Next is a power skip. I want some height. So this time instead of a leap, we're going for height. Go. Get some height. Get up there off the ground. You see the opposite arm action. Dorsiflex that foot. Sprint back. Now at this time, I'd have the athlete just stretch out whatever's tight. One thing we always want to do is on the wall, is stretch out our Achilles tendon. So ball of the foot against the wall, lean forward, stretch it out, and then bend your knee and stretch out the Achilles tendon. Also, whatever other body part is tight at that point, you want to make sure you're stretching that body part out as well. We hold our stretch for no longer than six seconds. Going in right into it. We're going to do agility ladder. We'll always go warm up first, which is called an active dynamic warm up, and then we'll go right into the ladder before we start our drills. Now, with the ladder, each rung is about 12 inches, okay, and we'll go through a series of drills. The first thing is called ankling. She's going to step over the opposite ankle. Lead leg will either be left leg or right leg lead leg, okay? I want to look for upright position, driving the elbows back, keeping them tight to your body. I don't want hands open or uh, uh, together. I want your hands open, okay? So just like you're reading a paper, you want to keep it loose. That way your shoulders won't tighten up, okay? Ankle them out. Go. Stepping over the opposite ankle. 
and keep your body square. Now we'll have a cone there to sprint out to. Main thing is keeping your body square. Now this time she's going to start with lead leg, left leg. Nope, same thing. You can see she's just stepping over her ankles. Drive the elbows back. Good, good body posture. So a slight forward lean, good body posture. This time we're going to go high knee, both feet each rung. Now we either say each rung or every other rung. This time it's high knee, both feet each rung. Left leg. Go. You see she's stepping up over opposite knee. Good arm action. Slight forward lean. Loose 90. Good. Let's go right leg, lead leg. Go. Good, good action. Slight forward lean, good action. That's it. Good. A little bit. This time we're going to cross it over. So basically with a crossover, you're going to start with both feet out. You're going to cross your outside leg in front of your body. One foot in, two feet out. Go. Keep your arms in tight to your body. Now your arms must work with your body, but keep them tight to your body. Good, sprint out. Then we'll do the other side. Again, crossing it over, two feet out. Go. Good arm action is good and tight to the body. Good sprint out. This time I want to do a lateral shuffle, which will be one foot out, two feet in. We're going to start on the left side. So one foot out, uh, two feet in. Go. Same thing with your arm action. Arm action must match your legs. Sprint out. Good body position. Start opposite side, same thing. And you're going to gradually build this up as you're going through the, the ladder. Go. So you start off slow, get the pattern down, then pick it up gradually to where you're 100% all the way out of the ladder. Now we're going to mix it up, a little bit of karaoke this time. So the karaoke will be facing this direction, then she'll face the opposite direction. But we're going to add another element to it. When she gets to the cones, we're going to go high knee every other rung out. So now we're going high knee, but we're going every other rung out. Good action, good action, just like you're sprinting through. Good action. Now we'll do the other direction. Oh. High knee every other rung out, real good, real good action. Now with the high knee every other rung, you can mix this up. You can do your karaoke's or your, or your shuffles, or you can do your crossovers and throw the high knee every other rung out, or both feet out. Now this time what we're gonna do, is we're going to do a ricochet, high knee, let's go each rung, or let's go two feet per rung. Okay, so you're going to go two feet per rung all the way out. So ricochet, go. So it's just a little bit slower, but it's harder. There you go, right into it. This one, the transition is a little slower because you're going to go two feet per rung instead of every other rung. Go. Two feet per rung, good arm action, good arm action. Arm action must always max your legs. Good, good, good. Now let's finish that up. Now there's a series of drills you can do here, but we're going to finish this up with a high knee every other rung two to three times. So let's go two times high knee every other rung as fast as you can do it. Build it up. Go. Again, high knee every other rung. Go. You ready? This, this drill here is called a star drill, and you can see how it's laid out. You can either have four, uh, eight points to the star or four points to the star. We're going to show you what an eight-point star looks like, but we're not going to go through the entire drill. 
Uh, first thing she's going to do is she's going to start here at the beginning cone, which is in the center. She'll carry okay into the center, sprint. Then I'm going to add another element to it. I'm going to have her shuffle, sprint to the next cone. So you'll keep going just like you're going uh, clockwise, or you can do this reverse. You can go counterclockwise with this. But this is an excellent drill for the volleyball court. Boop. Good tight karaoke, plant the outside leg, sprint to the cone. And remember, we're sprinting through the cone. She gets back in line. Nope. And this, this is a drill that can be done with large groups. I can have 10 athletes at the same time doing this drill. Karaoke, sprint, good. Next time she'll do a shuffle. What will happen if you've got large groups, as soon as the person in front of you gets in the center cone, the next person will take off. Good. Now we're going to go to the other side. Now we would continue going around here. We're going to go to the other side to show you what the other side would look like. So basically she will start same center cone, just on the opposite side. This time karaoke, sprint. Go. This is your one cone up here. Good. Get back in line. Now she's going to do a good defensive slide. Sprint. Good. Get back in line. Karaoke. Good. Plant go. Sprint. Good. Good. And this time she's going to do again another shuffle and sprint. Sprint. Good. And again, she would continue going all the way around until she's finished with the last cone. Good. So, yeah. This drill is called a diamond drill, and you can see the shape of this one. There's four points to this one, a little different. What will happen is she will start at the end cone. She's going to sprint in, karaoke, out, going out lateral. Then she's going to do a diagonal sprint to the top cone. Then she'll sprint into the center again. She's going to do a shuffle out lateral, and then she's going to do a diagonal sprint back in. Good karaoke, good and tight. Plant that outside leg, push off hard. Sprint to the center, good shuffle. Plant, home. Okay? Now, again, if this is a drill that you can use multiple athletes with. I can have five or six on this side, five or six on that side, and I can make it as wide as I want to. As the, as the When the athletes start, that athlete will start the same time I take off. Once they get to the last cone before they get home, the next athlete's going to take off and go right back into the drill. Now we're going to do the same exact drill, but we're going to go the opposite direction. So you're going to sprint in, karaoke out, diagonal sprint. Go. Good karaoke. Plant the outside leg, push off. Plant hard, stay low on the plant, shuffle, sprint. All the way through the cone. Just walk it. This next drill is called an L drill. Now we've got a box. There's a numerous uh, number of drills that we can do out of, out of this box. She's going to sprint up to the cone and around. All right, sprint to the next cone, go inside just like an L, straight line, and then sprint back home. Now there's different modifications of this, of this drill. She's going to sprint up this time. Go ahead, sprint up. Touch with your left hand. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. I meant I messed up. All right, my bad. At least you knew better. All right, on, on modification to the L drill, she's going to sprint up, touch right hand, sprint back, touch left hand, then complete the L drill. So sprint up around the cone, go inside this cone, plant hard, sprint straight line back home. All right, we're going to go 100% on this cone drill here. L or modified? Yeah, modified L drill. Boop. Touch. Stay in low on your turns. Get up around the cone. Good arm action. Plant hard. And home. Straight line home. Same drill. Okay, let's go regular L. All right, regular L. Boop. Get around the cone. Plant hard. Get around it. Plant hard. Straight line home. Good. Now we'll move to the other side. The exact same drill, L drill. We're going to first do the modification. Where she's this time though, because we're facing the inside the drill, she's going to touch left hand, then right hand, then do the L drill. Boop. Touch left, stay low, plant hard, good. Now go inside, plant, get around the cone, straight line home. I want to see that outside leg plant hard. Now we're going to do a regular L drill. Boop. Get around the cone, stay low, get around it, good plant. One thing about the L drill, when you go to make your plants, you got to make good cuts when you're when you're going to make these plants. Stay low, push off hard outside. Okay. Hey, uh, 
All right, next drill is a Z drill. Again, we've got our box set up. She's going to sprint up around the cone. This time she's going to the outside of the cone. Sprint to the next cone, just right across. Sprint straight up again in the Z format. Plant hard, sprint home. Now the modification of this drill is she's going to sprint up in karaoke this time. So sprint, plant, karaoke, plant hard, sprint, karaoke. Now we're going to go full speed with this drill, regular Z drill. Plant hard, stay low on your plant, stay low, plant, good, plant, home. Now modification with the karaoke. Good karaoke, stay low, arm action to your side, plant hard, good, plant, good karaoke, good. Now on the opposite side, again, you've got to work both sides. So we're going to do a mod we're going to first start off with the regular Z drill. Good, plant hard, stay low, plant, good, plant, home. On the plant, teach your athlete to push off outside leg and push off, stay low hard. Modification, go. Plant, good karaoke. Plant, straight line. Plant, good karaoke. Good. This next drill is called an agility box. First thing, she's going to sprint up. I'm going to do a clockwise turn. Karaoke, clockwise turn, back pedal. Clockwise turn, shuffle. And we will do the exact same thing on the opposite side and we'll go counterclockwise. Now we're going to do this full speed. Go. Sprint up. Clockwise turn, karaoke. Clockwise turn, back pedal. Drive the elbows back. Clockwise turn. Good shuffle. Good. Now we'll do the opposite side. We'll go full speed with that one. We're going to go counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, good karaoke. Counterclockwise, back pedal, drive the elbows back. Counterclockwise, good shuffle. Remember on the back pedal, stay low, hips back, drive the elbows back when you're doing it. Your arm action must match your legs when you're doing the back pedal. It's good, it's real good. Okay. This drill is going to be the diagonal box. On the diagonal box, she's going to sprint to the cone.